Tonight's big story, new body cam video reveals the tense moments leading up to a man being shot by Phoenix police. The chaotic situation happened earlier this month at a Chili's restaurant near 7th Street in Bell. The video shows the man carrying a large rock and he'd actually broken out several windows before police got there. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live in the Alert Center and Bianca, I know you've been going through this footage today. What else does it show? Well, guys, we do want to first warn you about the video you're going to see. That video shows officers demanding the man drop the rock in his hand before one officer ultimately fires. Suspects down. I don't know if there's anybody inside who needs help. Body camera footage showing what led up to a Phoenix police officer shooting a suspect holding a rock, starting with the initial 911 calls. He busted the window in the Safeway when we're in there. It was our daughter's kitchen window. He threw a rock through it. He threw a bottle and broke glass at our door. It was around 4.30 in the afternoon of May 9th. Police finding the man described in 911 calls near 7th Street in Bell holding a rock. Hey, Phoenix Police, drop the rock. I'm going to tase him. The officers then get out of their patrol car. Drop the rock. Hey, let's get, get the sun bag out. The suspect takes off running and after a foot chase, drop the rock. Ultimately ends up on the patio of a Chili's restaurant. Sun bag on the south side of the Chili's now. But before his partner with the stun bag could arrive, do not go in there. The 15-year veteran officer shoots, striking the suspect right inside the door of the restaurant. The suspect survived and remains injured in the hospital. I think the, the officer handled himself very well, uh, given, the, given the circumstances. Mike Parra is a retired commander with Phoenix PD and believes the erratic behavior of the suspect and his unwillingness to comply made for a difficult situation. If he had gotten gotten in, into the Chili's restaurant and decided that uh, if someone was a threat to him, he could have banged uh, that uh, individual with a rock in the, in the head and caused severe, if not deadly damage. And now the Professional Standards Bureau is conducting an investigation to determine whether the actions of that officer were consistent with department policy. It'll then be reviewed by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. We're live in the Alert Center tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10. All right, Bianca, thank you.